All right, Happy New Year. This is Sean Terry, Mayor of Salina, and this is our first meeting of 2020, January 2020, to kind of kick off the new year. Uh, we want to do a little recap tonight of what we talked about. This is something new as part of our innovative stuff that we do in Salina with our Gigabit City and different things. As, as transparent as we can be, we kind of want to start off by really recapping each month of what we think some of the important things we've talked about in council. First of all tonight, we kind of want to talk about our, our public art, what we're trying to look at. You know, a lot of cities have, have different things in place that, that does your art. We think a public art, or art ordinance would ensure a funding mechanism and advisory board to promote and encourage public art policies, action plans, and programs for the city of Salina. And downtown is kind of what we're focusing on right now. We really want to see some cool art, some picturesque type stuff, so to say, to where you can come out, take pictures of cool art, find local artists that can do things, really enhance the downtown city, and really put a little flair on our downtown to really make stuff unique through art. Art's a very impassioned, important thing that our community has said they wanted to see more of, so we're gonna continue doing that. Our second deal is our, our State Farm. State Farm's got a location that they're looking at doing at Walnut Street and Illinois Drive. We changed the zoning tonight to allow that to happen. We see up Walnut and Pecan both those streets have been little shops, little retail, little office things. So tonight was kind of a first step to kind of venture off a couple of blocks from the downtown square and allow a state farm office to go into. They may have living quarters up top, but a state farm office down below that won't get a lot of walk-in traffic. But if you go a lot of historical downtowns like McKinney, like Frisco, different places like that, like in Fredericksburg, they have little shops that are kind of a, a little retail, a little office, a little bit off the square. And finally, I'd like to recap with our EDC update. You know, our EDC department has done a great job this year. We have increased new businesses in 2019 by about 46%. We got a lot of new things coming into downtown. Our sales tax was up. Uh, we've, we're trying to have some unique things and we really focused our EDC on pushing downtown. Preston Road, the Tow Road, those things are gonna come, but we wanna make downtown unique. We've heard that loud and cleared from our citizens. And the EDC has taken a step this year by increasing by, by 46%, really showing that businesses are interested in being downtown and there's some real cool things coming. Also, I want you to know that southbound tow roads lanes will be open on Friday. We're having a ribbon cutting at 8.30. We invite the community and the public to come out. It'll be a joint ribbon cutting between us and the city of Prosper. And so we're excited about opening that southbound lanes up because we really feel like connectivity and transportation is a way to keep our lives connected, which is our kind of hashtag, our, our kind of name that we want to call Solano being life connected. And, and having that transportation is a key component to connecting people's lives. So uh, look forward to your to next update next month. You can always get updates on, on Facebook. You can go to our City of Solano website to get all the minute updates from each council meeting. And please don't hesitate to call the city, myself, or any city staff or any council people. If you have any questions about any items on the, on the council's agenda, the council agendas or the council meetings are always open to the public. We encourage you to come to those as well. But we hope you had a, a good, good New Year's and we look forward to, to 2020 being a great year for the city of Salina.